Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry for the late delay. I always I stream it. I haven't streamed in forever, and I forgot that MTG updates on Wednesday. So I was ready to go, and I was like, "Oh, we need an update," and it took a while for it to load up. But finally, get to start. Looks like Abzan is back with the Traverse version after people saying that uh, Abzan is dead and it got second place at the GP, which is pretty sweet. Um, all these people saying the deck is dead are obviously wrong, and it's playing Fair Magic, Thoughtseize, Gloif, Liliana is still pretty damn viable. Um, so. The specific version of Abzan that actually got second place at the GP was the Traverse variety where the guy actually had a pretty spicy um, tech of a 1 of Grizzly Salvage over a 4th Traverse. Um, personally, I don't like the Grizzly Salvage. I would rather have the 4th Traverse, but since we're going to be testing it out... Um, might as well try it out on camera for people to see. Uh, give me one second, guys. So, uh, the main takeaway that I got from um, Leonardo Gucci's list is I really like his sideboard. Um, I think I have the exact uh, configuration except for a few changes uh he has two damnations i have an engineered explosives damnation split um uh he has the collective brutality main i uh have the collective brutality in the side over a shriek maw i don't think shriek maw is that good right now um i can see if you have a lot of humans if humans is a top deck so being able to traverse for a shriek maw is pretty good but with Thalia in the deck, it's kind of hard to go traverse, play the extra attacks. It's paying 4 mana to destroy any creatures kind of a lot when you have to traverse for it. Um, but I can, and especially with like Hollow One and like being the top deck where Shriek Marvel literally doesn't do anything in that matchup. Um, I don't think it's worth a spot in the 75. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, another option you could have in the side is like a big game hunter. Um, but other than that, the sideboard's pretty much the same. In the main board, the big change is the 20 lands. Uh, Leonardo's main deck is pretty damn greedy, where he has 19 lands, a treetop village, and a ghost quarter. Um, I maintain the ghost quarter. I'm kind of trying it out. Uh, when I played Traverse, I had 20 lands, but none of the utility utility lands. Um, I think I had a Stirring Wildwood instead of a ghost quarter because I had a Gideon in the side. Um, it could also be a treetop village over the ghost quarter just because you want colored sources. Because on turn three, you want to go Traverse, Grim Flare, or Traverse, Abrupt Decay, or Grim Flare, Fatal Push, Grim Flare, Tar uh, Path to Exile, Tarmogoyf, Discard Spell. Um, it's pretty color intensive, and Ghost Quarter kind of throws a wrench at things. Like, Ghost Quarter being your fourth land is where you want to be, but Ghost Quarter being your second or third is pretty damn awful. As that sucks. Yep, as that definitely sucks. <laughs> um. But other than that, uh, I really like his graveyard hate configuration of two surgicals, a spell bomb, and a bajuka bog. I like that you can traverse for the bog. I like how you can have grim flares, bobble, and have a draw step and have and draw the surgical with the grim flare uh, trigger stacked and surgical in your opponent's turn on your opponent's upkeep. That's a pretty big game there. Um, and then the spell bomb is just solid to exile everything and uh being able to enable delirium um Gattic Teague seems really good right now for uh kci and all the control decks um eidolon is kind of an iffy one since it's kind of weird to traverse for it since if you have an eidolon in play a traverse kind of time walks yourself 
Uh, but you're also pretty much shutting off your opponent from doing anything. Storm, KCI, stuff like that. Um, but other than that, uh, we can go ahead and start the league. Uh, I already played one match yesterday. I was kind of impatient. I kind of wanted to actually play a league yesterday just to get things going, but something came up so I couldn't finish it. Um, so I'm just going to be finishing the league. It's the same deck list. Um, I went 2 0 against Mono Green Tron. So let's get things rolling here. Four viewers already. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, we'll see how this Traverse thing goes. Uh, I actually kind of like Traverse when Hollow One was a thing. Um, when Hollow One kind of became the top deck at the time. Uh, I actually audible to Traverse at my local 1k because Traverse has a way better matchup against um, Hollow One. Um, this is kind of a greedy keep. Um, if you have a, a handful of three drops and you need a third land, but we'll see how it goes. Because, I mean, this is pretty much a second land. I don't think you mulligan a two land, five spell hand, so let's keep this. Then you just traverse for a basic swamp and pass the turn. Pluto Delta could mean a lot of things. It could be Storm, it could be Rift of Shadow, it could be a lot of things. Grizzly Salvage. I think I'm actually going to Grizzly Salvage here at the end of my opponent's turn. Instead of playing the Tarmogoyf, because if my opponent... I guess I could play the Tarmogoyf. Because if I play against something like Storm, I want the Tarmogoyf on the board first. Uh, if I... If I get something like Jeskai Control, that's, uh, Tarmogoyf's also fine, because he needs to fetch and Bolt doesn't kill the Tarmogoyf, and it, if he, has, he needs to path it, that'd be great. But it's Pluto, it also might be Grixis Shadow. Um... I think I'm just going to ride the Tomo Boy here. Hmm. Reading pool. Dismember. So is this some sort of like bug mid range deck? Bug Shadow. Third land. We'll see if he has Stubborn Denial here. Stubborn Denial would be a big game here. Yep. See, this is... I think I had a poll on the Facebook group where it's like, what I would rather have a Traverse or a Grizzly Savage, and right now I really wish this was a Traverse because I can Traverse for planes. Ooh. Big boys over here. I think I preserve my life total. I'm gonna play lingering. Uh, I'm gonna fetch the plaint. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna path the death shadow. If he has a stubs, he has a stubs. Jeez, two stubborn denials is a pretty big game.
I need to draw pretty well here. I don't like this DLC salvage. I'm sorry. <laughs> he attacks me. Does he have TBR? Oh, does he have TBR? No TBR. Hmm. I mean, as long as he doesn't have Team of Battle Rage, this Lingering Souls is going to help me stabilize here. Wait, Thoughtseize here? So... I can't empty his hand. I mean, I, I, the way I lose, I need to get this Lingering Souls to resolve, so I think the only way I can get that is if he has a Stubborn now, that's how I lose this game. Uh, the red kind of throws it off, because I don't know if he has like a Bolt, and if he plays a Bolt, then I'm just dead. I think I'm going to thought he's here. I think the red's a splash. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he had the bolt. That's awful. So he just had everything. Like, he literally just had everything. Uh, that just feels bad. Um, so it's just kind of like a bug shadow, uh, in this kind of matchups, like taking out the discard spells is pretty good. I mean, I don't know how many, I guess, I don't know how many stubborn denials are on, maybe they only run two, so I, maybe I should just play lingering souls. I could have plus first. I don't know. This is this is the advantage you get for playing a relatively fringe deck like Bug Shadow. I mean, it's I guess it's four color shadow, and bolts. But I don't see any traverses. I would assume there's traverses, so maybe I should have the Bajuka Bog over my Ghost Quarter here. And if that's the case, then Spell Bomb is pretty good. Cut the discard. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just didn't know what to play around. I guess it's just four color shadow. I just haven't seen four color shadow that didn't splash white. Maybe it's five color shadow, and I just been reading it all wrong. Uh, three ling, two lingering souls is a pretty big game here. Alien of the Void. Yeah, well, that shuts off my deck here. Hmm. Leyline's pretty big game. He's gonna discard spell me. Yep. Yep, yep. Take all the souls. Hmm. I sh shouldn't have played the fetch land. Mm. This happens when I have, I have pretty little experience with the deck still. Should have kept the fetch. Save your fetches. Don't make the mistake I did. So he's targeting me. That's fine. So 
So let's see what he's going to draw here. Traverse, yep. Yeah. So he has a traverse. And he's three card types away from Delirium. Jeez. Well, there goes all my souls. Well, there goes my hand. <laughs> I mean, luckily for me, he's not close to having Delirium. I need a good draw step here. Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, let's just hope he plays out a bunch of shadows. You don't want to pulse the ley line? That seems pretty bad. Looks like he just doesn't have. He has a traverse in hand with no threat. One off delirium. Maybe he has a bunch of rule spells in hand that he can't cast a traverse. Get the Bobo fetch land combo here. It's Bobo on his upkeep. It's fine. He knows what I'm gonna draw. I guess I can Bobo at the end of my turn. Because I know maybe if. I just need to draw action here. Grim Flare. I think that's a fine draw step. Man, I'm drawing a lot of lands here. <laughs> it's weird because I don't want to turn on my opponent's delirium. Because it's like, I have a feeling he has all these discard spells, or removal spells, and it just turns on his traverse. So maybe it's best just to like not play my Grim Flare until I like draw a discard spell maybe. I'm actually just gonna I think we're just gonna be a little patient here. Maybe this is incorrect, but I mean, I have no graveyard, <laughs> so kind of my own mercy of my own. I mean, he has six cards in hand. Path. Can you just wait? I don't see any harm in waiting. Ah. He's going for the traverse. That's cute. Very, very cute. I didn't bring in the damnation. I don't want to pulse the ley line. Seems a little loose. Yep. Gosh darn it. So he just wants to play Death Shadow with stuff back up. I think at this point I have to just deploy the Grim Flare.
save some lands to sandbag if the opponent has a Liliana that needs to plus. Yeah, my opponent is just drawing action while I'm drawing a lot of lands here. So you're just going to go double shadow into my pulse. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so you're just having stub back up, I think. I think it's best just to pass the turn. I could pulse the ley line here, but I know he has another death shadow in hand, so it's kind of rough. Could just Maelstrom Pulse here just to save mana. See if he's bluffing the stubs, which he's not. They always have it. See, so he has one shadow in hand. Got him, flood and hard. Nineteen's land sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nineteen's land sounds lovely here. God, that ley line. Man, I don't think I would have. Maybe it was correct to pulse the ley line, but I think I would G. Because he would have just. I think he would have just stubbed it. I mean, he would have a stub in hand right now, so I, this trigger should be dead. I think I'm dead here. Upkeep path. Just hope he doesn't have another stub. Yep. Yep. Jesus Christ, this game was not in my favor here. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I actually got a follow, Commander Root. Thanks for following. Uh, I actually got two uh, followers during the... Uh, before I started streaming. So, just for funsies, I'm going to open three treasure chests for each uh, follow I get. Wasteland's pretty good. Sculpting steel. Huh. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Take the play points. I'll always take the play points. And Container Priest, nice. Take the Container Priest also. God, that was a lot of fucking lands. Holy, makes you wonder how Destro got to be so bad. I mean... It doesn't help that I'm running 20 lands and I drew, like, a jillion. <laughs> like, I just I just drew really poorly that second game. And then the first game, my opponent literally just had everything with no filter. Like, he didn't play Serum Visions. He, he literally just drew perfect. And especially the second game, he just casted, what, four discard spells in the first three turns. So, I mean, it's... And had the ley line, so he kind of just had it all. Like he that like that hand just had it all. Eight stubs, yeah. Like he just had it, right? Like I, I, it's not my deck doing anything. It's just my 
like, you have those variance games where you flood like hell, and that's what happened. Oh my god. I mean, I have technically a pseudo scry with the bauble. Let's just do it. I'm going to do this at the end of my opponent's turn. So if they do have a discard spell, and I'm not going to path anything to one. If you had a push, it'd be different. Um, but if it's a path, I'm definitely not pathing anything turn one. So I'm definitely going to do this at the end of my turn. Just guy. Come on, land. Come on, fatal push. Come on, babies, don't be shy. Come to Papa. There you go. Play the goat. Because it is bolt proof. If I played the Grim Flare, it would die to a bolt. So get that early pressure going. I'm trying one canopy in my traverse build. What are you running the canopy over? Is it over that ghost quarter slot? GTHD? 35? I'm assuming that's initials for something. Because, <laughs> I mean, you, I, there's a lot of room in there. And the thing about it is the Traverse builds tap out a lot. So I feel like you're taking a lot of damage off your canopies. But then again, um, there is not a lot of burn around. So it, it might be good. I, I'm not going to mm -hmm. discount it for sure. Um, Top top on the same versions is indeed very scary. Uh, Liliana is pretty mm. damn fucking good. Um, mm. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go for the Temple Garden here. In case I draw Mr. Scavenging Ooze. Getting Lily down for early pressure is pretty solid. Uh, discardy path because it's kind of useless in this matchup. Uh, also grows my target. <laughs> hey! Um, him discarding cryptic command just kind of signals that there are very few lands in my opponent's hand. Or he just top heavy. I. Uh, Oh god, the plane's so bad. I could have plus and played double flare. That would have been sweet. That would have been sweet. I don't think I can discard both flares, though. That just seems so bad. Gosh darn it. I don't want to play into a verdict either. I think I play. I think I just play Rhino and don't plus the Liliana. And I think I play the Rhino first to see if he logic nuts, and if he does, that grows my Goyf. So I think let's just play Rhino first. If he logic nuts it, then I mean, I kind of symbolizes that he has no uh, verdict in hand. Yeah. And if he verdicts this board, I'm fine with it. The path kind of signals that he doesn't have a verdict. Uh, oh, how's it going, John? That makes it easy. I can just say your first name. <laughs> I'm on 22 lands, so I guess my bill is so weird. Really? That feels like a lot of lands when you have... How many traverses are in your list? Because I feel like that's a lot. Oh, 
this IOK is kind of gross. I mean, I wish this planes was this, this planes is fucking me up because I could just. I, I wish I could play all five, four, three of my spells and. Um. Like I needed three black mana to cast all the cards in my hand and I don't have it, which is awful. Guess I should have. Did I fetch the forest off the first path? Because that's just me being stupid then. Hmm. I could plus Lily, and then my Grim Flare is all delirious, which seems sweet. Geist of Saint. Oh, so he has the old school Geist version, huh? That's pretty neat. Team Spock, thanks for following, man. Open up a chest for you after this game. So he's playing the Tempo Geist. So the Geist kind of signals that you might have Spell Queller in the deck also, which is something to look out for. Um, and the Geist also signals that I don't think he has a Verdict main. I don't think the Tempo versions have Verdict's main, if I remember correctly. See if he has a cryptic here. Yep. Fine by me. Pressure's the my opponent did really do something with my Liliana here. I guess he's just forcing an attack with the Snapcaster. Um, discarding another Geist, jeez. Um, I think I can follow my opponent. I hope to draw a Fatal Push or something. A Lightning Bolt. That's pretty good. So if he tries to kill my Lilian I can or just not there's troubling that's fine too <laughs> snap serum visions that's pretty bold bold play cotton with the bolt in hand it's a bold play Yeah, these green flares are a lot better in traverse versions, obviously, because they don't die at a bolt, like not very easily. So, <laughs> yeah, one top, one bottom. That's pretty good for me because that means my Liliana is gonna stay alive. If I do my math right. Down four bolts, not gonna do anything. Good for me. Uh, I really wish I had another Rhino in the deck, because this Traverse would have been sweet. Uh, do I Traverse now, or do I Traverse later? I don't think they play Verdict. So if I overextend it with this traverse, that feels awful. But I have a Liliana, so I kind of have to overextend anyway. 
I think the best grab is scavenging ooze. Um, fetch the overgrown two now so I can have my Grim Flare triggers ready to go. 16 life is still a lot of life. Okay, the scavenging ooze here. All the triggers in the world. Grim Flare is such a fucking good magic card. Um, this seems fine. I mean, just I just want threats, right? Discard the last card. I mean, in, in this matchup, like, we're the aggro mat, uh, deck, and um, having Delirious Flares and Big Ass Goyce make the matchup a lot easier. I'm not going to activate the Scavenging Ooze at the end of turn, um, because I don't want to get bolted. The only way I lose this game is by Cryptic. So I think it's safe to just attack first here. And I think he's just going to cryptic. That's the only way I lose this game. Or I guess not win the game. Interesting. It's fine by me. Now I know I have a Tarmogoyf. Uh... On top, so I'm. Um, if I extend to a verdict, it's fine. If I don't think they run verdicts, like I said. Um, yep. So, bug, spell bomb, gadak, teague. Runs a big game there. Um, I think all these removal spells are pretty bad. The thing that I am not sure about, at least for sideboarding, is I'm gonna like usually with like graveyard hate or uh, grave against graveyard decks, you bring in the bog, right? Um, you just cut the ghost quarter because versus like hollow one. Dredge, Mardu Pyromancer, Ghost Core doesn't do anything. So it's kind of an easy swap. But in the Jeskai match with Colonnades, Ghost Core is actually pretty game, big game here, along with the Bujuka Bog. So I really don't know what to cut here. I might just cut... It's either a fetch. It could just be an Overgrown Tomb. That might just be... the most optimal. Or maybe it's just a Blooming Marsh. Maybe. Like, I don't know. But then again, I don't think Jeskai decks run Field of Rune, at least the Tempo versions. I didn't see any Field of Rune, so maybe it's just safe to cut a Basic Swamp. I think I might just do that. Um, I think the Jeskai versions run Rest in Peace, so I think Reclamation Stage might be pretty good. And I think they also run um, uh, Search for Ascanta. Uh, Eidolon might be good. Turns off Snapcaster Mage. Um, Brutality. Fulminators might not be bad. Actually, Fulminators are pretty great. Um, just because I think they go bigger, like they bring in Elspeth and stuff. Um,. Yeah, I don't like this Grisly Havage. I'm sorry. Uh, this is definitely going to be a Traverse. Um, the Temple Versions does have uh, Spell Queller, so it might be worth bringing in like a... Keeping in like a Push. A Pulse. I don't think Eidolon's worth it. 
Galaxy just dies, I think. And I might just... I might take out the Reclamation Stage. I'm going to see what they have first, and then if I need it, I'll board it in. Um, yeah, let's just have one full Garnet Mage. I want two. Hey! This is fine. The bobble fetch land is nice because like it makes my boy unboltable turn one. Like on turn their turn I play it. Jeez. That's rude. Luckily I have the abrupt decay. So I can just snap abrupt decay that. It's not bad. Um I guess I could have brought out abrupt decay into this matchup. Maelstrom Pulse. I don't think I want Maelstrom Pulse. I think I want more discard spells. So I think I'm gonna fetch it away. It's fine. What do you do with the same versions? Oh, he didn't play some versions, just relic, huh? Lingering Souls is exactly what I want to draw, especially with... Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> Bluff the Grizzly Salvage. <laughs> Broke decay the relic here. Yep. This play also kind of plays around spell queller, which is kind of what I'm worried about. Thrun's big game, boys! Run is big game. Uh, no logic knot. So I think I can just play lingering souls here. Just utilize the ma my mana the most. I mean, with two la like five lands available for me, I might just wait on this turn until I get my sixth land just to play around a verdict. Hmm. 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 There's my sixth land for Thrun, Big Daddy. All right. Um. I think it's just safe to attack here. Hmm. And then I can just play the Tarmogoyf. Two, three. No, I don't want to. I need to play my fetch land if he wants to bolt it. So I think I'm just going to play this Tarmogoyf with this fetch land available. If he tries to bolt my Goyf, or he tries to spell caller and I have a buff decay. Vendillion? Oh, my Thrun. That sucks. Now you target me. Boo. Bye, Thrun. Some viewer guys, thanks everyone for joining. Hope you guys 
Ooh, Foam Ranger is not a bad draw. My opponent's only on one red source. It's not a bad top deck. You could just also just take out the Colonnade. It's not bad either. Like I said, I really like the Bujuka Bog on the side. Like the the sideboard, I think is actually really good in terms of just the yard hit in general. Two surgicals, one spell bomb, one bog. Like I think that's perfect in terms of like the configuration, in my opinion. Um, huh? Snap serum visions. I'm just gonna go for the serum visions. I mean, he knows he's in trouble, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, I, he knows the bog is coming, so I guess he's just like trying to utilize as much value he can. What would be a really fucking good draw right now is Liliana, the Last Hope. That'd be a bomb draw right now. Top, top, scary. I think I'm going to fetch here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Attack with all. Hope he blocks with Snapcaster. Lasta would uh well, yeah Lasta would have been nicer here. I'd <laughs> just be game. He did top, so is it like a verdict? One, two, three, four, five. Kind of want a fulminary here. Like, makes you feel like he has like a top end like bomb on top because he hasn't missed a land drop yet. I don't know, my gut feeling is telling me to fulminate here. Don't ask me why, it's just it's just my gut feeling. Six, seven, eight, six. I'm gonna play out the souls here. I don't think he has a verdict. He might have a verdict. Verdict would also be a pretty solid top. I'm just gonna pass. Yep, that's fine. So that means he doesn't have a verdict. If he's wasting a bolt on Tarmogoyf. Top tier envisions. So he's drawing the second card that he topped here. And I think it's worth abrupt decaying here. Abrupt decaying the Vendillion click. Bottom both is a good sign. Spell caller, that's nice.
that sees Spell colors, I think, definitely the play here. And then I have the bog to turn off with Snapcaster Mage. Oh, I should have put the Lily first. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that's tilting. I, I should have played the Lily for uh, I should have Lily first plus and then bogged. Oh, that was a misplay. Because now I'm just forced. Oh, that was a punt. Oh man. Jeez. I guess I'm not dead yet. No, I'm pretty dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I guess it wouldn't have matter anyway. Yeah, I think this matchup I keep in X number of removal spells. I think path's better. I don't think he has that many bombs. I don't think Fulminator is like. I guess Fulminator for a colony is fine. I think Abrupt Decays. That was good. Oh man. I think we just go like this for now. Retaliate isn't that great. In my opinion because they have cryptics but it's kind of they're a little bit more creature based you might cut the brutality before a fulminator on the play Go with that for now. Oops, sorry, guys. Flying Morgan's a six bottoms. I think I'm gonna save the bobble, I think. Because sometimes it's. Or I guess I can bobble my opponent. It might be the better play to know full information since I don't really. Since I have kind of what I want. Pia Kira Nailar. That's pretty spicy. I think I take the bolt here. He's like so off, far off casting anything. I mean, the Optimus and Ridge is kind of redundant. Like, Snapcaster Mage kind of wins the long game, but like, Grim Flare kind of wins me the early game. I think I'll do that. He has no removal spell for the Grim Flare. Blooming Marsh is perfect. That Blooming Marsh is exactly why I um, fetched the Godless Shrine. So 
So I know his exact hand, and he needs to go land removal spell for my Grimflare to not be relevant, which is pretty good odds for me. Yep. He needs a top deck of land here, or slash removal spell, and draw and draw into a removal spell with the standard versions. Perfect. This is perfect. Uh, fetch here, so I can um, I think I get the forest to preserve my life. See what he drew. Opt. We drew the third land. How do I lose this game? Do I care about the Peter Karen Nerlet? I don't think so. I don't think I care about the Spell Caller either. I think I just take Snapcaster Mage. I mean, he can't. He's not gonna cast a Peter Karen Nerlet next turn. So I think the best value play is Snapcaster. I don't think I care about the Peter Karen Nerlet. Let's just take a snap. Let's hope he doesn't draw a bolt. Mills a non sorcerer land or artifact spell with Green Flare, and I'm in solid. Ooh, Liliana's a good play. Gosh darn it. These are all really good <laughs> spells. <laughs> I think I have to bend the Liliana here, which is awful. Cause if he top decks a bolt, like I have so much pressure going right now. Yeah, I think I want to discard the Liliana just to make our Grim Flare delirious. And then just draw the traverse. And I just have so much pressure right now. Look how big my goif is as a 6 7. <laughs> like I have a two turn clock here. <laughs> Like, what's he gonna do? Like, oh, we drew the purge. That's gross. I mean, I can still just traverse. So I know all the cards in his hand. Still traverse for a Grim Flare here, right? Yeah, the traverse for Grim Flare. I can also traverse for a Thrun. Traversing for a Thrun's cute, but Grim traversing for a Grim Flare tr applies the most pressure. So I'm gonna do that. And then I just have lethal here. Yep, that's fine. I don't care.
I don't think I need any more threats. I know one card in hand is a spell queller. Kind of just want to traverse. Traverse for a rhino would be the best. So I think. I don't think the Inquisition does anything relevant here. So I think I'm going to top the Goyf. And just sandbag the land. Don't think I care about that. Could just path the Pia Kieran Nalar. Logic Knot. If Logic Knot is the second to last card in his hand, that's fine. It's fine with me. So good. How much do I want to play around a verdict here? I don't think I care because I have Lily on the last hope. I don't think he. I don't think Jeskai Death's list run verdict. Like I said, yep, got there. Just finished the drive. So far, this is boring as fuck. More go. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Oh crap! Uh, so I just got two, two more, two more followers. Uh, so that'll be three chests. We'll all be opening. Thanks for the follows, guys. Um, opened a wasteland earlier, which is pretty good. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> uh, I don't think that card's worth anything. And then one more. Colgan's Command, that's solid, nice. All the value. I'm unfollowing, that's fine. <laughs> you can do whatever you like, dude. Uh, Alright, so if you guys just tuned in, I beat Tron off camera, lost to four color shadow match two. Um, they just had all the, the, the stuff and game two, game one and then game two they had four discard spells and I flooded like a madman. I think I had like eight lands or something or nine lands total. Um, and I just beat just, guy control, just by tempo, I guess. Uh, it was like the old school version that had um, Guy Saint Draft and uh, 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 spell colors. Uh, so the sand's pretty good. 
discard spell into two drop into Luliana Vale if I hit a third land. It's kind of painful. Green white taxes. They could take the Thalia here. They'll play a Vile. And I can go turn two, traverse Thought Seize the Path. And then turn three, Liliana. Or just play the Flare. I think Thalia is the best card. Turns off my traverse and all that shenanigans, so. I don't play friendly leagues. <laughs> I always do cop. I find there's a lot of like shitty, random shitty decks uh, when you do friendly, so. This makes me not want to play Traverse. Or not, yeah. Uh, hmm. Less painful doing it that way. So let me thought seize here. Double path, huh? I could just take the resto. Traverse for planes. And then go to him with this Liliana the Veil. Tower Glyph's a good draw. Nerd, you nerd. Ooh, just got the path. So, best top deck right now would be an untapped land. So, I can just play my hand out and then plus the Liana. Blade Splicer. That's a good draw. He has a path. Path makes things interesting. Kind of wish I didn't discard that land. Makes me regret it. I guess I can see what he discards here. The other line is just minus. I mean, minus, and then if he top decks a land, he has Wildwood plus Dude. I think he's just got a plus here. If he discards the path, then I can just play the Goyf. Because this group player is kind of small right now. Ah, so he keeps the path. I think I'll play a little bit of defense here. Hold up the decay. Uh, 
Oh, he has a flicker wisp. Ah, crap. Oh, but I can just flicker wisp this guy. So I guess I don't think it matters. Hmm. Yeah, I just flicker wisp the token. So it doesn't gain any value off the flicker wisp. Oh, baby. Interesting. That's an interesting line. Mm -hmm. Now I can just protect the Liliana. need to dodge another flicker wisp pretty much thank you I really wanted that fourth land so you're just gonna go all out hope to draw the fourth land for his wild wood That was an interesting line that I definitely took. That was weird. I think you would have better value flicker wisping the blade slicer. That's an easy discard. I think it's a relatively safe attack. Could also just minus. I just get value off it. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So souls is a pretty free attack here. Green white taxes. This is your jam, Andrew. This is your jam right here. Should be like, oh yeah, you know, just, you played the stupid taxes list, right? I mean, Restoration Angels for you is cool. I'll gladly block that. That's a great trade on my end. What do you have in hand, buddy? Blade splicer. Fair. Fair. Three, four, five. So he has to commit a lot to block my Tormogoyf. I think 
swing with a goyf is decent attack. Or I can just swing with the spirits. But that's a pretty slow clock. I think attacking with goyf is fair. If I attack with Goyf, he can just block Golem and Arbiter and I have to pick one. So I trade a 2-2 two -two or 3-3-4-4-5. I don't think that's a good trade. So then you just attack with the Spirits here. So he just isn't going to commit wildwood mana, I guess. <clears throat> My green white tax list that we made as a joke, remember, you ran locks and smiths. Oh, so it's more like a vile town. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Vile <laughs> So he has something pretty good in hand for him to want to plus the vial there, or crack the canopy there. Could be another Flicker Wisp. I think it's safe to not attack here. So if he does flicker wrist, I can block him. And I'm not, I'm not like any... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. Now he's going to flicker wrist my souls and then come along. Oh, god damn it. Don't be flicker wrist. Oh, god. That's misclicking... Oh my god, damn it, fucking shit. Uh, hold on, guys, girlfriend's calling. I'm gonna mute my mic for a sec. Sorry guys, I don't know if that's loud enough. Um, kind of conserve my life total a little bit here. I could go to eleven. I think eleven is still a safe a safe life total here. 
sell the basic swamp for ghost quarter. So I'm gonna go with Temple Garden, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Temple Garden. So now I'm just like way ahead here. Shadow Moon, I really didn't know you were streaming. Is it just the list from... No, I made some changes. I, uh... It's not the exact 60 or 75. Um, yeah, you kind of drew the nuts there, game one, but... <laughs> and then game two, I just flooded like crazy, but... I mean, your deck did what Shadow decks, you know... That's why Shadow was, like, the best deck for the longest time, right? It's interesting, I was talking on camera that, like, your, um list didn't have white in it which is pretty interesting uh it, it was like a four color shadow list right or was it five color i just didn't see it i think it's gonna chump block one here yeah i was trying to i i was talking on camera where it's like i could just play around the bolt game one and you just had it you just had the bolt i could have not thought seized there but i don't, I don't know if i was uh, a TBR or anything, you know, so I figured I should thoughts use there. Oh, let's just Inquisition. Ooh, Restoration Angel. Got it. Got it. So I have Lethal here. So three. So... Five, six, fourteen. I have lethal, so he has to block one. So, whoop, 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 whoop. so if he has a land, then it's. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just change your math. Three, block here. Six, nine. So I think it's a safe attack with to attack with all. I think. Forced to chump block with the high arc. Three, six, nine. Yeah, so I'm not dead on the crackback. Chump blocking with the golem is pretty good. Because that means there's just less pressure on the crackback on my opponent's end. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think you're forced to thought season there because you need to answer my threats and get around stub. Yeah, you had like, what, you casted stubs like four, five, no, five or six times that match, which is insane. <laughs> like, you had all the answers from my past and the Lianas and stuff, which is insane. No, I didn't see all four Lilies. I saw one. You know what would be great right now? A siege rhino. <laughs> you know how many rhinos I have in the deck? Five rhinos. <laughs> Cause I have all. Oh, I only have. See, if I draw a grizzly salvage this next turn instead of, and that would have been a traverse, I'm gonna be super tilted. I'm sorry. five you this game two you had ley line and you discarded both souls and a fatal and i believe a fatal push hmm Definitely don't have lethal here, so I think I just 
attack with He's going to have to Resto Wisp, Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp comes back. Oh, so it's not a safe attack with my spirits. So I think it's best just to attack like that because you're going to Flicker Wisp, well, Resto the Flicker Wisp comes back, Flicker 1, and you can just block 1. Which walks great into my Fatal Push here. And then he has the block one, and I can just push the unblocked one, probably the resto. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Right, didn't know if I should be bringing Lee Lang. I think I mean the little the the Lee Lang was good. Like my deck kind of folds to Lee Lang, so that's fine by me. I don't think I want to trade. Yeah. Oh, God, me. It's gas. It's just gas. Uh, brutality, pulse, damnation, engineered explosives. Cutting probably just the discard spells. Um, yeah, it's probably like that. Because it ends up being a granny matchup, so it's good. You don't land their yard hate. Kataki's kind of interesting. Because they do run the Golem and Vile. But I don't think it's worth it. Reclamation stage isn't bad. The two for one, they bring in relics, so I think being a recommendation main stage is actually not a bad idea. Go like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Didn't know if I should be bringing Leyland. You're bringing Leyland every time because I have Traverse, right? And like you, you, you bringing Leyland also opened up me discarding my Lingering Souls, so like I couldn't get the flashback on it, so it was a clean one for one there. So I think it was, it was the right call. I might. I think I bring in Thrun on the play and leave, and leave the one I okay on the draw. Uh, no, what have nothing? No garbage to your deck from 2000 loses to Goyf Beats. Now game two. Your traverse are going to be dead more than not, so I don't like relying on your traverse baggage. Yeah, I mean, I should expect the yard hate. It's just I can play through a spell bomb. I can't play through a ley line because I didn't bring in the Rex Age. I didn't know you had ley lines. That's the thing. So if I knew you had ley lines, I would bring in the Rex Age. And I have the option to Wilson Pulse the uh, Ley Line, but you traverse for two shadows, so I kind of needed the Pulse, because I only had one other removal spell. So I kind of needed it, because you're not going to play both shadows. You're just not going to do that. So... Uh, what happened? I am currently 2-1. Beat... Uh, Tron off camera, lost to uh, Shadow, four color Shadow, and then beat Just Guy Tempo, and this is match four here. I think this is one of those hands where I think I bobble my opponent because. Could also just because I think I need to fetch anyway, no matter what, because of Leon and Arbiter plus Ghost Quarter. So stirring Wildwood, okay. Oh, 
crap. God damn it. I just clicked the wrong land. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, why? Oh, I'm gonna get ghost quartered here. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, why am I so bad at clicking? <laughs> oh my god. I'm also under a time crunch here. 12 minutes for potentially two more games is not a lot. So I might have to talk less and play more and not fetch the wrong land. I wanted a godly shrine. Ouch. Yay, Rex Age. Woo! <laughs> All right. Reclamation Stage doing work over here. Are you looking for anything? Yes, I would like to use this ability. Are you looking for anything this game? I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Like, when I bobble, um, I mean, I have the removal, I had the discard of removal spell, so I don't think I needed anything in particular. Like, I could have fetched for more removal, which is, like, not a bad play, but I think, it, I think knowing what my opponent's next card is a little more valuable than not. I mean, discarding that Thalia, casting discard spell on that Thalia would have been nice. Aggro! Like it. I like it. it make, yeah, right? If I just, you know, wasn't all click happy, that would be the right play. I think it's reverse here. Traverse, discard spell, Grim Flare. So discard spell here, Traverse, yes, yeah, so I can discard first. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> that's a hand. I mean, just gotta play into it, right? I don't think I'm attack. I'm blocking with uh, Rex Sage here. My opponent's also kind of short on colored sources, so it might be correct just to, like, for him to path my Grim Flare, it's gonna take a lot. Like, I don't think he can attack unless he top decks a colored source here. I'm going to be driving. Alright, buddy. Drive safe, dude. Thanks for tuning in. He's thinking about ghost courting himself. <laughs> I mean, that's also why I traverse there, is I traverse because if you top decks the Union Arbiter, that ghost court is kind of gross. And then he's kind of incentivized to path my dude. So... I 
aggro plan, I like it. Yeah, I, I, that's kind of, it's an aggressive line to knock out my lands. I don't, I think that's the better play than trying to get damage in. Get the planes. So he has one unknown card. I think this is the point where I save my traverse. I don't think I need another land. Especially when I know he has... An, a, another path in hand, I believe, right? First strike. Land's not bad. Land's actually not a bad top deck here. Get closer to my traverse. I actually have delirium this turn if my opponent attacks. Aggressive. He could. I don't think he knows it, but he could. <laughs> yep. They path the wild here, so it turns on my traverse. It's a damn good draw. Land, creature, sorcery, instant. Get my boy, Gumi P. I like path on tap damn traverse. Yep. You got it, sir. You got it. Dude, if, if he draws a fourth, <laughs> that's fine. You nailed it, buddy. You know what would be really good draw now? Is the Lily on the last tope. I said that like twice already. Oh, man. Oh, man. can see if he tries to block here. Try to get cute. If not. Just running removal spells, that's all I want. Explosives isn't bad. Traverse 
is what I'm talking about here. Get that rhino going. Do I get style points if I only swing with the spirits and then traverse for a rhino? Because my opponent's exactly at three life. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! Siege right now. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. I don't think my opponent has any outs. I don't believe so, sir. Yep. That was rude. My opponent didn't let me do my sweet play. That was rude. Three one, not bad. See if we can get some money off this league. Go four one. How would you end up doing in the league that well we played in together, SS Nelson? How'd you uh Yeah, that match too. <laughs> How did you end up in your league, buddy? Nice. Send me that 4-1 love, dude. Must be nice to play against Garbage Dexter or unlosable match. <laughs> hey, I did play Tron. And Jeskai Tempo is kinda borderline. It's 50-50. <laughs> so whatever, Patty. Whatever you want, dude. You can talk whatever garbage you want. The goat monster says, fuck you, Patty! I repeat that match too. I'm just gonna cover that match too like that. <laughs> I'll try not to misclick this game. I think that'd be nice. Ooh, this is a mulligan, I think. This hand's awful. That basic planes. That basic planes is gonna screw me over. Huh. Four color silly Saruheli Rye. I think I just take the Sahili here. Yeah, I know, right? I think I take Sahili. And follow it up with. Yeah, I think it takes Sahili here. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> yeah, it's a different deck. <laughs> and then I kind of have to incentivize to take the rally here. So if he goes fetch land, so he doesn't go fetch land, renegade Sealy High. So now his hand does absolutely nothing. You also have to watch out for like baggage to the moon. Oh, you're right. I'm an idiot. I thought it was three or less. 
My bad, my bad. Can you spell broken? Uh oh. Troubles are brewing here. Guess I'm not playing my lingering souls anytime soon. <laughs> That's nice. Does he know that I, there's a lot of lingering souls in my deck, or what? <laughs> that's, a, that's like uh, that's borderline uncastable right now. What the hell, right? This is only planeswalkers, right? Yeah, that's hilarious. Could thought sees the chain whirler. <laughs> it might be a great tort target, you're right. But the fact that's the best of the top three is kind of funny. I mean, it's fine, as you know, I'm going to have Lingering Souls just based on my colors, so. Thank you for the black source. I mean, it's, people want it banned in standard, so it must be good, right? God, I'm gonna take a lot of damage if I thought sees here. I could just Groom Flare and then Thought Seize Lingering Angels next turn. I don't wanna fetch shock here. Or just shock Thought Seize. I might just play the Grim Flare here. And just preserve my life total. We're on the same page there, buddy. Oh, that's gross. Rose, my goy, thank you. Dude, this basic planes has screwed me over so many times in this league, it's like ridiculous. <laughs> my Tarmogoyf is better than my opponent's Tarmogoyf. I have, I have 20 land. Hey! Hey, babe. That's a good draw. But I think Thought Seas of the Younger Souls is better. Excuse me. Don't attack. I'm not attacking. Because Exalted makes his goy bigger.
That's true. That's true. I should attack. Last match. I'll make the attack this time. <laughs> The value, the value. <laughs> Patty's not a nice person anymore. What do you want to eat for dinner? Did you get anything? Chain Whirler Part 2. I know. Sure. But I'll probably be done in like half an hour. Yeah, at most. I think I block with one spirit just to play around Lightning Bolt. It's okay, babe. I think I plus on the high arc, minus Lily and just play souls. Mm. 
Oh, it just sacks the witness. Yeah, sorry, I'm just rushing through. My girlfriend, I can't like play and like have a conversation with my girlfriend, so it's like super distracting. I think it's safe to minus the last flip here. So I can try to hit Delirium with my Traverse. And then worst case scenario, I just get a green player back. <laughs> Didn't hit the Delirium. I can, I can still just Traverse for a basic here. Because the worst case scenario plays around Magus of the Moon. I think one attack is safe. Play the wrong path. <sighs> Excuse me. Ref thinks you're too slow. <laughs> I know I should. God, my laptop is just like lagging right now okay um explosives pulse damnation i mean it ends up kind of being a granny matchup so i might discard might take out some discard spells uh, a lot of running Valiers and uh, Eternal Witnesses, so I might bring that in. I, it's awkward because I kind of want to keep the Ghost Quarter. Just in case they are kind of greedy. Brutality seems fine. Um, Fulminators is kind of a greedy play because they're like four colors, so you can kind of cut them off mana. But I think... Cutting all the discard spells, I think, is what I'm probably going to do. Excuse me. Yeah, so let's just do that. Uh, wow, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I saying you're too slow. Uh, damnation, E-Box, Spell Bomb, Pulse, Coco. Coco. Uh, do you mean Cobrew? Uh, damnation, Explosive Brutality. I don't like GQ that much against a dork deck personally. I don't like about pulse or expensive. I think Venice is now as pipe dream and they have a lot of one. It's not like a Yeah, but I need answers to like Sahili Rai, right? So it'd be nice to have one clean answer to it. Um I'm gonna have one more slot, so I guess I can keep in one Inquisition on the draw. Like I can have worse cards in the matchup. Eldritch Evolution costs three. Um, Ireland doesn't do anything. Relaxation doesn't do anything. What do they have that cost four? The cat? I mean, it's a deck that has bolts too. So. I think I'd rather have an IQ. I mean, the cat is 
I don't like. I don't like. If there's a combo, like I think I'd rather have. Like it. I mean, maybe Gatatigue is better. Oh, says a Morgan. God, my computer's like lagging right now. Oh my goodness gracious. Sure. Uh, I guess removal is not bad. Voice is annoying. Fetching for a basic forest so I can traverse if I need to play around Magus. Uh, Bujuka box kind of better because it's free versus two mana. Play Swamp, more Blood Moon Insurance. Jeez, my computer is like super slow. I think I need to plug it in. Um, I guess I'll upkeep bobble. Cast a spell. Ooh, that's a scary card. The value. Huh. Man, my hand is clunky. I think I have to just pulse here, right? Just, I'm just gonna be dead to the combo. I'll be right back. I need to get my charger.
I need a path. Path would be the best top deck here. So I can go path voice minus Lim to kill Limbala. I think that's my best top deck here. God, that township's gonna screw me over. I don't know if Liliana minusing is worth it. I mean, Liliana minus kill the voice opens up to a line where I can survive if a top deck donation gets better. Because he's gonna activate Gavity Township and just go to town. So I think I just have the minus here, I think. We are 3-1, yep. So this way... If my opponent doesn't commit more to the board with Gavity Township, then he... A fatal push or a path plus Liliana kind of clears the board for me. Damnation's also a fine top deck. I'm like pretty far behind. Like, my two cards in are gas, and they can stall. Like, I have a bunch of blockers. But I'm definitely not close to stabilizing. Like, the top of my deck needs to serve me well here. Because if I draw Abrupt Decay, it's awkward, because going Decay, I can't Decay minus Lily again. Hey. Oh, glad I pulled the cat. So each point, right? So he can't target Lily anymore? Not that I think it matters. Hmm. I'm stacking the Lunvala. Oh, yeah. Uh, make him do it. Uh, so if you guys tune in a little later, this is the list that I am streaming right now. Um, it's a little different than uh, the list that got second to the GP. I don't like the Grizzly Savage. Uh, two mana is definitely a big burden in this deck where you kind of want to be lean. So I'm definitely going to change this to a Traverse after this match. Um... I mean, time is a factor here, so we'll make him do it. Uh, a Shriek Ball actually would have been nice in this matchup. I'm not entirely convinced with this Eidolon. I think a Shriek Ball might have been okay versus the rest of the field. Like, Eidolon's great against, like, Storm and KCI, but it's pretty narrow. Um, 
Like, I don't know if it's even that great against, like, Snapcaster decks. So, I mean, I guess she boarded in. It just seems a little underwhelming. It does a lot and nothing at the same time. So. You know what would have been really good? It's Graft Digger's Cage. <laughs> Graft Digger's Cage would be uh, really good in this matchup, by the way. Uh, I didn't, I it was the one of the cuts I made. I think I like the Shriekma over the Eidolon, though. That might be an easy swap there. I mean, I don't know what else to cut from this sideboard for the Shriekma. Because, like, the GP list had 19 lands, had to collect a Brutality main. And I want 20 lands, so I just move the Brutality to the board. So. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, man. 11 viewers, thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate it. Jesus. I don't want to tilt off having hands of like treetop ghost quarter here. So is it 16? Double block. Oh. <laughs> Dang, you know all the tricks, huh? <laughs> I was on your time. It's as if you've done this before, Patty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think Gaia T does anything. I mean, if I saw Cord to game two, I would have done it, but I don't think so. I think this is solid. I mean, that was a mole of five with a really bad five. So hopefully this, I don't want the mole to oblivion again here. Time's coming in. <laughs> that indeed, buddy, you never know. Oh. Do I keep this? Gosh darn it, this is close. That's so bad. It's so bad. I hope that this is probably the best. I don't want to face a dork, I don't think. Oh, man. I think I play the fetch here. I think I play the fetch here. Ooh, if he whiffs, no turn to play, that'd be gas. Oh, he hit the land. Oh, baby. He just 
fetch here. This is looking promising, boys. Don't want to get magus that's why. Why are you so loose? I want to play double Wooly. I like having the second swamp. That chain world is just super awkward for him. <laughs> like, I don't like plussing here. I think EE for two is better here. I want to empty my hand as fast as possible. So I think I want instant speed action here. So I think I'm going to EE for two. Play a spell bomb. And then just plus Lily on here. Just don't count two. <laughs> I should have. You're distracting me, man. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Just win. <laughs> it's like a sweet. I was a little reluctant about the 3 1 split because 4 veils is just so much better, but man, this is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Let's pop the explosives here. Jeez. Really? 
Dang. Do I plus this Lily on here? I don't think so. I could also just crack the spell bomb now and then see what I draw. Plus zero. <laughs> Straight to the bottom. Hmm. Do I go aggro here? Or do I just kill the Sahili? I think I just kill a Sahili, right? And just not plus Liliana here. Yeah. Because my hand's so good right now. That's fine. Yeah, I agree. So I can just plus whatever, decay the, well, I should decay the Sealy first, just so it doesn't play around Ewit. Oh, that's an easy, uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was kind of an early concession there. Yeah, that's kind of an early concession. Wow, that <laughs> this grisly salvage would have whipped so hard. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> nice punching into a 4 1. Yeah, that, you know, it's all that matters, man. All that matters is the end result. Dude, this grossly savage is poor. Just absolutely poor. <laughs> I don't know if it's really a punt if I l didn't lose, right? <laughs> yeah, but. If it was a traverse, I would have traversed for a threat, right? Like, that's, that's not that great. Land, instant, planeswalker, artifact. Like, if I had to traverse, I would have traversed for a threat. Like, you get to choose what you want versus, I mean, this is, like, small sample size, right? But, like, this is just funny right here. Plus, it's just, like, it's two mana. Like, the game earlier where I actually just wanted to traverse for a basic just so I don't lose tempo. I think it was like turn three and I wanted to cast like a two mana spell and I couldn't, I could have traversed and then played uh, a two mana rule. So I think it was like a TK or something, but I had Grizzly Savage, so I couldn't do it. Like I, I couldn't traverse for another land. So I think traverse is better than Grizzly Savage here. I just don't like it. Like the deck is so lean that you kind of want to um, 
be more on the lower end of things in terms of your curve. So I'm just going to do that. <laughs> like this is uh, what I would play. Uh, so yeah, it's just tell me. But I don't need I don't need that help though. Like the deck doesn't have trouble hitting delirium. You know what I mean? Like I feel like people are making it seem like so difficult to turn on, but it's not. Like we don't need an enabler. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Like like we have. We already have discard spells, instant, like we have everything. We, we like just playing the game will hit delirium. More nameless inversions. I'd rather have a nameless inversion than a grisly salvage, I think, or just another removal spell. But I don't, like, there's a reason why we're not running nameless inversion. Like, there's a reason why because we don't need to. Like, if if it was that difficult to turn on delirium, we would be running nameless inversions. We'd be running cast outs. You know what I mean? I, no, so are you sure I feel like there are a lot of times you just concede to get a basic because you didn't have a delirium? That is not true. I, you proactively fetch basics. Like, every game except one against uh, the Shadow, actually against you, SS Nelson, where, like, you had Leyline. Every other time where I fetched a basic, I wanted to fetch a basic. I was just saying, like, if we needed delir if we needed delirium enablers, we'd be running cast out. We, like, we'd be running nameless inversions. We'd be running weird ass like tight cards that aren't optimal but just hit delirium. There's a reason why we're not like main decking spell bombs, right? Like, it's fine. Like, we bauble is enough of an engine card to where we hit delirium consist consistently. <laughs> Upside. Yeah, lay of the line, lay, lay of the land, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I thanks for everyone joining, guys. I really appreciate the interactive. Glad everyone got to join in and um, nice talking to everyone. And it's fun to have an audience and kind of talk to the lions and be like, oh, you fucking suck at it. <laughs> you put it there. <laughs> Um, but I think the next change is really just taking the screw through salvage for a traverse. And then I think I might take this Eidolon out for a Shriek Maw. I think that might be the next change. Might run something like this instead. I don't know. I mean, against humans, it's great, unless it's versus Thalia, but even going two mana, like, two mana destroy a Thalia isn't bad, or, like, a champion, or a, a phantasmal image, or anything, right? So, I don't know. Shrieky D. Uh, it's finds a creature or land, not just enables. But it doesn't hit what you want, right? Like, you're at the mercy at the top of your deck, and we're... A borderline reactive deck to where we kind of need to search like get something specific right like something like every company deck that runs company they there's a reason why those decks run more company than cords because every one of their creatures is super redundant but in our deck we have these silver bullets like Gaddock T, like Shriek Maw, Thrun, Rex Sage, Hitaki where Against Affinity, where you have a Grizzly Salvage in hand, you top like a Grizzly Salvage and you have Delirium, you 100% want to Traverse because you 100% hit your Kataki or a Rex Sage for a Cranial Plating versus Grizzly Salvage at the mercy of your top five cards, right? So, like, the upside for Grizzly Salvage doesn't hit the ceiling of Traverse. You know what I mean? Like, I think people are... are Assuming that delirium is really hard to hit in this deck, and it's not. Like, I had no problems hitting delirium in this deck. Shrieky deaky. That rhino is... I know. I know. I really want to rhino. So, like, I actually played um, Traverse at my 1k because I liked it better than the 
against Hollow One because the extra artifact helps. Um, I think I had a second Rhino over a third Souls here. I, think, I don't think this is updated, but I had... Yeah, I had a second Rhino over the fourth Souls, which I think is wrong. At the time, it was with all the Hollow One, I think it's okay. Um, so... It's better than Ancient. That is not true. <laughs> ancient Sturries cost one mana. A Grizzly Salvage costs one mana. Yeah, I would play Grizzly Salvage. But Grizzly Salvage costs two. Ancient Sturries cost one. So there's kind of a big difference. <laughs> so. But thanks for the. Thanks for everyone for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. I actually might have time to stream tomorrow. Uh, it might be around like 6.30-ish. So I might run another league through with this, this particular configuration with um, Shriek Maz instead of the Eidolon and Traverse over a Grizzly Salvage. Like, I didn't like Grizzly Savage on paper, and playing the league through, I don't like Grizzly Savage, uh, period. So, before you go, I just wanted to say it was really cool of you to stay so low head during our match. I know I drew some absolute nuts when you started messing me, and I thought you were going to get super slow and be able to get a reasonable skin to buy. It was really refreshing, really nice stream. No, dude, it's, you know, it happens, right? It's variance, you know? I'm not going to be mad at you for... You know, like, on your end, you played well. You held up your stubs, you played to your outs, you played, you, you know, it's like, some of those things were like, yeah, you drew better than me, but you also have to capitalize on drawing well, right? Like, I could have punted this match against the Sihili Rydak, and, and I drew all the right cards, right? So, I mean, on your end, you played well, it's nothing that I can be, I should be mad about, you know? It's just part of the game. I mean, it would have been nice to beat you, to go 5 -0, you know? But, I mean... It's what happens, you know? And I appreciate you tuning in, you know? it's It was fun talking about the match on my end, at, you know, afterwards, you know? Discussing your sideboard options on the other end of things. Like, I didn't, I don't think I saw um, a five-color shadow list or a four-color shadow list in general with Ley Lines, which is really interesting. But it seems really good now with, like, KCI and Mardu. Like, it seems like the right sideboard plan on your end. So it's cool to go back and forth, you know? So, no, I really appreciate you. I don't know how you found me, but I appreciate you tuning in, too, you know? great um so i think that's it i'm pretty hungry i'm gonna go grab some dinner so i will try to i think i'm gonna try to stream tomorrow um probably around 6 30 pacific maybe 7 i'll post in the abs and facebook group but um maybe i'll actually use my twitter <laughs> i'll post on my twitter if that helps uh whoever is not in the abs and facebook group that's kind of like my outlet but um again appreciate everyone joining in uh traverse did 4-1 which is pretty solid uh, especially for a shitty player like i am <laughs> so um again thanks guys um for tuning in and i'll hope to see you guys tomorrow take it easy guys appreciate it